How to get inside this castle is really cool. So the main gate is closed. So you have to pick a path across a waterfall to the side and infiltrate this watery secret pathway to get inside. Once you're there, there are all these teleporting nobles casting glintstone pebble at you from the rooftops as you progress through the city. It was a fantastic experience pushing through this place. It was a lot of fun. The boss of this legacy dungeon is named, and you're gonna think I'm kidding, but her name is Rolana, not Renala. Rolana. She's the younger sister of Renala, and she renounced her heritage to chase after Mesma. She wields these twin swords. She's a lot like Pontiff Sullivan from Dark Souls 3. One of her swords is imbued with black fire, and the other one is imbued with magic. I managed to beat her on my second try. The great hammer I was using was up again, and when I handed in her remembrances, you could choose from either her twin swords, or you could get her twin moon sorcery. I love the line of this description that says, here and here alone were moon and fire ever together. It's a neat reference to the sword of night and flame, which has links to the Carrions as well. So in the end, she stayed in the land of shadow, becoming the sword of Mesmer. All her items are fascinating, and I can't wait to learn more about her lore.